First of all, I would like to thank you most cordially for your kind hospitality here. And we are delighted to see you here from Qum and brother from Mashhad and other parts of Iran walking together towards Karbala. And as we grow, draw nearer to Karbala, enthusiasm is growing, excitement is growing, and we are delighted to be able to be, to be a part of this fascinating walk, which brings people from different parts of the world, Christians and Muslims, particularly, obviously, majority Shias, but people of different faiths are joining you up to celebrate along with you the victory. Yes, we are mourning the death of Imam Hussein, but beyond this death, there is a victory. The fact that all of us are here is a sign that he was, he, he was a victor. He managed to accomplish his mission even after his death. He is a symbol for us, for justice, for fairness, for love. And in this world which is divided by fear and hatred, he is becoming particularly important because he is bringing all of us together to heal all the wounds and pains we have afflicted to each other. And therefore, for me as a Christian, as a, as a bishop, it is enormous joy to be here with you, uh, a part of this walk, and, uh, and enjoy fellowship, kindness of people who give their kindness in, in, in love, in care, in food, and support. And it is, it is a feeling that this care for each other which is a symbol of Arbain, should be seen as something we need to learn not only during the Arbain, but beyond the Arbain. Not only in Iraq, between Karbala and Najaf, Najaf and Karbala, but in our lives every day and all day. Uh, there are so many people who have actually the opportunity to be here on this walk of Arbain, but there are many more who couldn't be here. So what's your message to them? Come. Yeah. Come? Yeah. <laughs> Thank yeah, you. That is, can be as simple as that. Yeah. I think the more people experience Arbain, this world will be safer, more pleasant, more peaceful. Okay. Thank you. And uh, what, do you, uh, what message do you have to our Christian brothers about this walk? Okay. Uh, so what do you want to say to them about this walk? Well, this, this what I have just said includes Christians, mm. first of all, because Christians and not only Christians, Jews yeah. and Hindus and Buddhists, people of faith or none, all should be welcomed in this place to experience care and love among human beings. Okay, thank you. And I will have my last question actually. So you see this walk of Arbain as a sign of peace, right? It is. Yeah. So uh, is there anything else you want to add about this uh, walk of Arbain, about the culture here? Well, culture of hospitality and love is indeed overwhelming, uh, impressive, fascinating. And I'm very proud that this, this culture of hospitality has been expressed by members of Abrahamic faith tradition in Shia community. Majority of the hosts, the hosts are Shias. They are bringing uh, signs of their love in food and care and support to all the pilgrims, regardless who they are. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Pleasure. Uh, thank you for actually answering. Can we take a question?